does not mention the Pentagon's assessment and its article. An amazing lapse of reportage and a huge mistake if the paper wants its readers to believe it is covering hard news in a fair way. There's simply no excuse for not including the Pentagon's point of view. The Times also says, quote, the attack does not appear to have been meticulously planned Nonsense. For more than two hours, dozens of Islamic thugs used rocket-propelled grenades and automatic weapons to assault the U.S. mission compound in Benghazi. Militants were seen on video cameras casing the mission before the attack, and they hid themselves until opening fire. They also attacked a CIA compound a half mile away using mortars. And the New York Times says the attack was not planned. Are you kidding me? I guess the word meticulously is the paper's fallback, but it is pure bull. Coordinated violence eliminates the videotape of the spontaneous driver of the murders. It eliminates that. It's true the militants knew about the tape from Egyptian TV, but this Ansar group had used violence before. They didn't need a tape to commit murder. So Talking Points believes the Times story is deeply flawed, and the editor should have known it. Now, over the years, the paper has become deeply invested in changing America into a secular progressive country. And while it does do some noble reporting, a primary goal of the Times is to help progressive groups and politicians. You may remember during his presidential campaign against Barack Obama, the Times could produce no evidence, none, to justify that story. And to this day, Senator McCain is bitter about it. Now we have the lingering Benghazi situation that may hurt Hillary Clinton in her presidential run. Talking Points believes that was the motivation for the way this investigation was framed by the New York Times. I could be wrong, but I'm not wrong about the reporting. It is seriously flawed. And that's the metal. Now for the top story tonight, reaction, joining us from Washington, Howard Pertz. And from Miami, Bernard Goldberg, both are Fox News analysts. And Bernie, we're here with you. Am I making any mistakes here? On the factual matter, I completely agree with you on your theory that the, the New York Times Consciously, could be, but as you know, Bill, there is never a smoking gun memo that says, no. let's help the uh, liberals and hurt the conservatives. But I think the reason so many people think the way you do about this, two reasons, two main reasons anyway. The first reason, on the main conclusion in the 7,000 word New York Times piece that Al-Qaeda wasn't involved, you're right. There are many responsible people in responsible positions who don't agree with that. And one of those responsible people is a liberal Democrat on the House uh, Intelligence Committee, a liberal Democrat who flat out says Al-Qaeda wasn't involved. The second reason is that that was Adam Schiff in California. The second reason is that the New York Times has a, let's call it a credibility problem, mainly with conservatives. The, the paper went easy on Barack Obama when he ran for president. There's a strong suspicion they're going to go easy on Hillary when she runs, and not just on the editorial page. And because of that, and because of the McCain example that you correctly...